power co-op is closed for today. So it makes me think that some banks are closed for today. But the question is, the stock market's not closed for the day. So can everybody got some cashola for Christmas, get it in there in time to beat the upstroke of the crypto? It's the last week of the year. And they said it's going to be an upstroke through the first of the year, according to previous years. And if AMC did Buku Bucks, the Overcron ain't done nothing but give the news media something to talk about. It's bullshit. All this stuff they're talking about, mandates and stuff, it can't happen. This is a free country, free will, and every single person who they approach to force a mandate on has the ability as an individual to challenge the mandate. So the courts ain't going to have time. It can't be law until it's been through the courts. It can't be enacted until it goes through the courts over and over and over. Despite us being one people, we are different blood types and textures. And that does have a bearing. I'm not taking your fucking shit. You motherfuckers let me fucking suffer for from the time I was six years old to the time I was 15 years old with a simple impacted belly. I, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was a bunch of pasta uh, nibbled on and made into a ball or a Pepto-Bismol I drank a gallon of and made into a ball. Maybe chewing gum I ate so much of and it turned into a ball. I don't know, but it turned into a ball and it was quite difficult to get rid of. And they did not do a prudent job on washing it out. Matter of fact, I have a new device that I need to make real quick. A small tube in, big tube out. Pressure wash, motherfuckers. Not just pump it in until it pushes something out. Because believe it or not, it can work like an interlocking chamber. And float the turd up when it releases the liquid. So then there, the turd's still there, maybe polished, but the liquid comes out. You people are so stupid. I've got a neck injury, and I had to lay on my back for three years to get it to stay in the spot to heal. The surgeon could have applied a stent, a couple, four stents that could have been biodegradable that would have facilitated that laying in traction for three years. This is not at a hospital. This is in a van down by the river I laid in traction for three years and repaired my neck. You understand that? The most I did was what the most I had to do was walk around and get food $3 a day at the Chinese buffet for soup and crackers. Oodles and noodles, if I was lucky with onions and egg in it, to the point to where when I ate something real, it tore my stomach up and I puked out blood. When I hurt my knee, I went to the doctor four years ago. I hurt my knee 15 years ago, 20 years ago, and I walked it off. It was damaged, but I walked it off, walked through it, worked through it, made it last. The last couple of years, it blew out. I think because I was swimming, trying to show my kid how to do the kicking of swimming. And, uh, yeah, you know bad knee gets thrown out but three or four years ago i knew the knee was bad i knew it was going to go out just any time i overexerted it and i had insurance and i went to the doctors and they sent me out of there i couldn't i could feel it losing its stability when i'd pick up something heavy <sighs> yeah like a girl <laughs> anyhow uh I knew it was bad. They wouldn't fix it. All they had to do was go in there, fill the void, keep it from bobbling around, 
maybe center it together with a couple of them stents I was telling you about. Poke the shit out of it until it's all inflamed and agitated. And then put it in traction and let it heal. Simple. Well, I think it's gone to a lot further away than a simple procedure would have fixed. And it's intentional. In other words, this whole video is about the derelict duties that the administrators and the facilitators of the clinical occupations have been guilty of. Obstructionist of our ability to procure personal happiness and comfort. Where they put every technology and medicinal remedy on a shelf where the general public's not allowed to access it like they have some kind of authority to do so, and they don't. The only authority that the Constitution of the United States decrees to the House of Representatives is how to execute the laws of the land and the laws of the land state that we should be securing our personal property that's on our person and our homes and our cars and everything free from seizure unwarranted seizure and there's no warrant ever been swore out by a that can be lawfully swore out by a house a caucus of representation you're derelict in your duties the only thing you do with insurance markets and the medical markets is put prohibitions to force the public to do commerce with you and your filthy scum. You're nasty as shit. We can see how many dicks you've sucked. It's on your face. I look at my face and know, nope, not a dick sucker. I look at their faces and know they've been eating assholes that have been put full of dick. They're sick. <laughs> You're a sick bunch of motherfuckers, and we're going to get rid of you. We're going to get rid of all the career politicians and make it a civil duty amongst people who don't just jabber. Oh, I can jabber all damn day. Put me on the news. I'm good jabberer. It doesn't take a good jabberer to lead. Matter of fact, I'm a terrible jabberer. I don't like to jabber. And when I do jabber, I get ill. When I'm talking to a wall that's unresponsive and most of the time censored like this this is not my demeanor unless you're trying to kidnap my child using a code of some kind of jurisdiction the county and the state think they have to traffic children did you know that children trafficking takes on all forms across this nation and if we don't have a prudent reaction when one citizen says Hey, I believe the caucus of this government and my community is trafficking children through the authority of the county commissioners, the the institutions of social services, and the local district judiciary. It should be addressed quite publicly to dispel any concerns of any single resident of the community to a full hundred percent transparent audit of every moment the clinical professional thug terrorist mental health workers have exposure to the children we have a mental health problem in these institutions if you stay in that institution, all the way through your 13s till your 17, you are incapable of being productive person in society and should go to college. If you get out and you realize, hey, I can make some money now and build on my physical stature, my dexterity between the next 20 years instead of sitting there becoming institutionalized lumps of turds in chairs. The football team, I'm a scrawny worker. I could take any one of them. I about guarantee, I mean, I'm not. there are some boys that are pretty cornbread and fed, but the average linebacker, the average, the average 400 pound beefcake I'll take to the ringer, and I'm only 160 pounds, 69 pounds. I'm almost a damn lightweight, featherweight, whatever. I, I wish the UFC would let me get in there because I know I got to reach. 
I've called them. They don't answer. They're just like everybody else, unresponsive. No, I'm not fucking joking when I say I'll climb in the ring. I've been knocked out. Getting knocked out. The worst thing could happen is probably crack a rib. Disloc- uh, well, I'm already dislocated. So there ain't much that's going to happen, boys. And it would be fun. But my point is, the medical profession is so derelict. This whole video is about your derelict duty and how you have to have legislation to force people to associate with your industry, such as the insurance companies, the pharmaceutical companies, and the schools. The schools where these providers have become so institutionalized, they don't remember or even know, oh, we'd have to take a horticultural class to learn how to garden. We just don't know how to do it. We didn't have time to do it. We were too busy being institutionalized every day. If anything, in this modern day and time, we should have school more late. It shouldn't, we should have more lectures we shouldn't have anything that has to do with you clinical professional thug terrorists that you have become we just need you to resign and let the free market and the free people start over we got the fundamentals as long as we get we maintain our civil rights as we have we're not going to have segregation. We're not going to, ha- we might not want nothing to do with gays. We don't want gays near our children. We don't want gays. We don't want any homosexual activity breathing in our direction. Yeah, your your breast smells like dick and ass. That's right. We don't want that. Females, have you ever heard of a wet nurse? It's quite traditional for you guys to tend to each other. That's how you stay clean. But as far as a male goes, you're you're not allowed in my house if you're a homosexual. I don't want nothing to do with you. Want to know the one fundamental that reminds me of that every single time I look in the mirror? I am born of a heterosexual relationship. That is my destination. That is the only purpose for my groins. And other than that, I'm not an ass kisser. All right, so I'm ranting and raving, but the whole point is your derelict duty forcing people to capitulate with your demands to obtain basic treatments that the Chinese and the Europeans have had around for hundreds and hundreds of years prior to us ever even establishing a judiciary. We have to get rid of these prohibition laws and this wrongful taxation on our equity because they're taking our equity away and giving it to college kids and government employees. Every time a college kid cashes a fucking check, that's a biscuit that I worked for that I don't get to eat. I am fucking skinny, and it is because I live in a deficit, because I live in a college town, and every fucking 